Today we're discussing a maintenance knowledge that many repairmen don't know, how to stop rotation. Can an excavator stop with just a few metal plates under high pressure and fast rotation? No, it relies on the high pressure beam motor overload relief valve overflow and the opening of the oil return check valve to replenish insufficient oil volume in the motor inlet, preventing adverse occurrences. Does the rotary motor achieve smooth braking in the process? At the end of motor braking, due to higher pressure at the motor oil return port, there is reverse motor rotation. To ease this issue, a non-return valve is placed on the motor. When the rotary motor is stationary, the fuel feed actuation head of the oil supply port remains in the middle position due to spring force. When the control valve switches the rotary valve spool to the oil inlet port, the high pressure oil acts on the left side of the actuation head, pushing it to the right and cutting off the bypass oil circuit, causing the motor to start rotating. When the control valve resets the rotary valve spool, the high pressure oil on the right side of the actuation head pushes it to the left. However, due to delayed left inlet action, a bypass oil circuit is formed between the oil inlet and outlet. The high pressure oil flows from the oil return port to the oil inlet via the bypass oil passage, until the lifting head reaches the position of cutting off the bypass circuit. When the pressure between the motor's inlet and outlet reaches a balanced state, the lifting head resets due to spring force. Due to the pressure reversal process at the oil return port, the high pressure oil flows to the oil inlet, balancing the pressure between the motor's inlet and outlet to prevent motor reversing.